Cameron, why you got that old wig on? Cause I don't know if I like you with all that long hair. I need some more fabric. How do I protect my daughter? Ooh, it's over so here. That's not an admission. It could have been right here. I like your hair, but Michael has a key to the house. What is this outfit? I love when people stop what I think is funny. Candace, that was not a Cookie Monster homage, but wait a ping pong match. Back. Andy, hold her accountable. You said, oh no. Bravo really does a good job with the set. Now she needed another baby. That boy too young. We're gonna use Reasonably Shady's content. Maybe your next husband. Okay. Three managing partners. She not lying. Andy, could you get um? It's Karen Huger. You have been very quiet. Y'all signing up to be Andy's first and only. What up, Potomac fam, and welcome back to this from Rizzo with Love. With me, your girl Donna Rizzo, as we're here to recap part one of the season seven Real Housewives of Potomac reunion. I'm super excited for this one. Um, one, I'm excited for the outfits. Two, I love when the ladies get together and they have watched the season. So they have seen tweets that women have posted because they've seen things during the season. They've seen a lot of confessionals. They've seen truth behind a lot of the telephone and the passing of she said this and he said that. So I love when this moment of like, come to the table, this is what's said, this is what happened, and I'm holding you accountable for this. Now, does that always mean Andy is gonna hold them accountable? No, but these ladies hold each other accountable, which I do love. Still with the same idea that, hey, we need a next season, so we all have to be mindful of that. But also, you're not gonna play me and get away with it. So. Really excited for this one. For the new people, welcome. Glad you found me. It is towards the end, but I think this is a three-parter. So stick with me, hit that like, comment, and subscribe button so you can see when I drop these videos. We are an interactive community. Potomac is not so much, but if you're a fan of Married at First Sight, Real Housewives of Potomac, Insecure, Rap Shit, Big Brother, Love is Blind, uh, a couple of other shows, definitely stick with me. Check out some of my other recaps because we do go back and forth in the comments on Instagram, on Twitter, on TikTok, on YouTube. So make sure you follow me there at From Rizzo With Love. Also, if you're new here, this is unlike other recaps because we do a live reaction recap. This is in a moment where I have watched the show and I'm giving you my rundown of what happened. This is a moment where I watched the show with you. I want you to feel like you're having a viewing party with me and we are watching these scenes together. Now, obviously, this is like what? It's gonna be like a 20 minute recap. So I'm not watching and showing the entire episode, but I'm pulling out snippets of moments that I think you should see and I'll pop them up here. Just so you know what I'm referencing. I'll give some quick hitters for moments that you're like, you know what I'm saying? But if you have seen it, I'm hopefully, hopefully that's why you're here because you have seen it and you're trying to get another reaction. You will know what I'm referencing and hopefully you'll find moments where we all agree and many that we might not and I'm okay with that. It is just what it is. Also, I wanna encourage you guys to stay until the end because I do ask a question about the episode that I want you guys to answer because sometimes I'm not sure how to feel about certain moments or comments that have been made. And also, I know that other people may have differing views than me. So I do pose a question that I want you guys to answer um, towards the end, so stick with that. But y'all, I'm super excited, one, to see these outfits, and two, well, two, to see the set because Bravo really does a good job with this set, but also three to hear all the tea. When do we get the husbands? The husbands usually come in three, right? Mm. Is Juan Dixon coming? All right. Y'all, without further ado, let's get into this Real Housewives of Potomac season seven reunion part one. Let's go. January 31st, 2023. Oh my God. Yo, Andy is the best. He said, you didn't want to put this on Bravo, on the Real House Office of Potomac, which you get paid for, we're gonna use Reasonably Shady's content and put it up here. I ain't mad at this. It's like hotel receipt with his name on it. Right, okay. I was aware of- If y'all are new here, we already talked about this hotel receipt, but you put the hotel in your name because Shorty lost her wallet? God, I'm just like, how do I protect my daughter? We'll give the details on our Patreon. Also, y'all think this is why the wedding didn't happen in Jamaica? Watch what happens on February 5th. We all saw this. Andy, hold her accountable. Kind of hold her. Oh, my titties. They're too much titties. Andy's face is the best. It's like, is it Andy's face or Candace's face? Because I don't know. Okay, two weeks earlier. Wait a minute. Two weeks earlier. So that was February 5th. Two weeks earlier. They had the reunion before 
the wine cheating thing? Hold up, I gotta get these dates right. So all of this shit came out on Reasonably Shady before the reunion, I mean, after the reunion. So they have to put this in because there are things that they did not address during this reunion. It has to be, damn. All right, let's look at this set. It's Miami, but it's a Miami hotel. Are they trying to be shady about this hotel thing? But they don't know yet. Okay, never mind. Ashley went bleach blonde. Wendy and her arm. Oh, Wendy, we saw this on. Karen, Karen, why you got that old wig on? I gotta have, I gotta change my shirt, y'all. Sorry. Also, I love how confident we are nowadays that we are showing our wig caps. Like that was very faux pas before. I'm also eating some Teddy Grahams. Hotel snack. It's Grand Dame, Andy. Stop saying that. Karen. I think Sharice deserves to be here. I mean, you guys filmed with her enough. You put her everywhere you could. Oh, is Jacqueline coming? I think I like Mia's outfit so far between me and Karen. Mia wins. Why they put Giselle and Robin together? Like, they can't just let go, but they're sharing a makeup artist or something. Not here. Giselle. Giselle, what are you wearing? Giselle, what are you wearing? I like your hair, but what is this outfit? You do not need rows and rows of diamond, but di it. Ugh. Robin looks nice. Uh, Juan is working. He's not coming. Candace's makeup looks great. Wendy, 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 titties. Wendy looks very regal. That is a very, that's a couture. She got the peacock wing. Oh, Ashley. Ashley, I'm not a big fan of this. I need some more fabric. You hear what I'm talking about the seating? Oh, it's the most random seating. Candace is taking up that whole seat. Candace, I don't know if I like you with all that long hair. It seems, it seems a lot. It seems like synthetic too. I don't know. Karen loves a sheer, uh, um, you know, flesh tone sheer number. And it always bunches up when she sits down. So it bothers me. This is the second time. She did that in that yellow dress too. And it bothered me then. Oh, oh hey, Ashley. Ashley. Hi, Andy. You are Ashley, positive. I don't like this hair. Thank you. What's wrong with me? Do I just not like a lot that's happening? What's going on? Ladies not doing it? Oh, I don't like that wig, Ashley. Actually, I see we're doing the um, bob because bobs, real blunt bobs above the shoulder to the neck. I mean, to the chin came back. But the way you have your side part, it's over here. It could have been right here, but instead you took it to your eye. I think that is what's making you look older. I just want to say I love that Bravo Liberty has become a thing. Like so good for this network. They just in here, just tag teaming on these summer house. They say, yo, any way to keep relevant. That boy too young for you, sis. Not Karen yawning. <laughs> oh, I didn't even associate her dress to Cookie Monster. Candace, that was not a Cookie Monster homage, but way to ping pong that back. How do we feel about the seating? I was just thinking, Mia is on the end here, and Mia was involved in a lot of controversy this season, but I do like how they have the girls who have been around longer up front, except for Robin. This is the time when Candace and Ashley were friends. We want this bag, y'all, please. Michael has a key to the house. Why did Luke leave? Because my children were there. That's valid. Yeah, I don't think this new man should be around your children yet. I respect this. But why did Michael drop them off early? She started falling in love with him. Oh no. I mean, that's Mia said, oh no. We already talked about how Michael was dating when he was like still flinging it up with Ashley. He was at the hotel publicly dating with other women while, what's his name, Chris was there. So, no. Michael has no say in this. Y'all are divorced, right? So move on. You know what's crazy when he said, what is the status of the prenup? I heard this in the previews and I thought it was for Robin. But I guess we know she ain't right there. Oh, she won't get any. No, that's not how, that's not how it works. Because anything that you make while you're in the marriage, right? Anything that you invest while you're in the marriage, you're investing it from money that you had, but you are investing it while we are married. She had a bad lawyer. She at least getting spousal support? Now she needed another baby. That's not spousal support is what you get anyway. It's not, oh, if you have financial difficulty. The shade, Mia, you clearly don't share that commitment to monogamy. That's a, a, a un, not a unique, that's a, a valid perspective that Mia presented there. She said, how I, I realized how I got my husband is how I have to remain in the marriage because I can't be like, oh, I got him doing this and by the time we get married, I get all of that goes away. That's not fair to him either. Ashley needs a brand or a business or something. It can't just be TikTok influencer because all these women are influencers. So Ashley, what are you gonna do? We've got candles, MSN, Fox News, commentator, home decor, book. 
We got, what Giselle got? What's her business? Oh, Reasonably Shady. Robin got Reasonably Shady and Bedazzle. Or be, uh, Bedazzle, Embezzle. Karen got the three wick, five wicks, seven wicks. Candace got a music career. Mia got chiropractic. What, Ashley, you need something. Ashley, what you, you need something. You Use this platform. It's funny that when- I love when people start with, I think it's funny. Cause they don't mean that. Right, Katina? Come on. I was maligned for my generational wealth. But yeah, here she is that this man paying for her. Mm. It's different when y'all are married, right? Cause that's your spouse. He's supposed to help you. But y'all aren't married anymore, so he's just doing exactly what her mother did. Don't don't bring up the kids, y'all. Oh. And she got somebody else. They making room for somebody. Is it Sharice or is it Jacqueline? Because I'm ready. Or is it Sesame Street? She not here, right? Look at me, look at me, I need attention. Yeah. Giselle should regret that. Do you have endometriosis? I hope that cleared it up and they, these women can see that she was actually going through something. Mia, the, the nipple pair, the nipple are cover. We see it. She said, when you get caught on a hot mic, hashtag fake saint. <laughs> Wait, how can you say I gave her the benefit of the doubt in one breath, but in the other breath say, yeah, but I thought you were lying. So you didn't give her the benefit of the doubt. Okay, okay. She not wrong. Why smile she in my face and act like you believed me, but then behind my back, when you thought the mics were off, say that I'm lying. Don't do that. You just as bad as Robin, right? Oh, I thought she was talking about Gordon being the opportunist husband. I'm like, what? No, Eddie was there with his wife while she was in the hospital. That's normal and that's what people do. Ooh, well. she it said maybe your then. next husband. Okay. Please play for our family. Gordon's brothers who he trusted and supported and cared. The brothers took the business away from the, oh, I was wondering why at the end of the last episode, her little thing was like, she and Gordon lost a lot of their businesses. He lost it to his brother? If you can't trust family, who can you trust? If they are 50-50, are you saying he's like 51 and y'all are 49? Also, you can have owners and presidents and then a CEO. So that makes sense that she could be taken off. But how could Gordon be taken off if they both own? Mm. So That's how. Not. So now that makes sense, right? There are three managing partners. So two out of the three can vote someone out. That makes sense. It's not like Gordon's brother owns 50% and Gordon owns 50% and his brother voted him out. That's not right. This is the correct one. Say, say what you mean, Mia. And I don't think Mia is like oblivious to this. I'm not mad at this. I think Mia is explaining it. So, okay. They weren't on board with bringing in that big heavy hitter. No, she didn't say there were three on the board. She said there were multiple. She said there are three managing partners. She not lying here. They are laughing. I'm with you. Mia's like, y'all are trying to make me seem like a joke. And like, this is something that's very sensitive because we lost a part of our business. If you can't keep up, that's your problem. Also, Mia, I don't know how much of this she should be saying, but okay. Wendy, and she said, that's Housewives 101. I love how honest Mia is being right now. She's like, we are literally living off of our savings. She said, by Coastal. Dang it, Mia, I was just with you. I agree with that. Mia wants to tell her own story. And also she's new to this Housewives world. So she may be telling a little too much of the story and saying a little too much on social media. Whereas these women are used to, I give you too much. I give you my whole life. That just allows you the randoms and the trolls and all that shit, more to come back at me with. And they don't want to get in trouble with that. I think Mia is still learning that. You would still throw a drink on Wendy? Not Grace driving. I'm 54. Wait, one, Andy, you're 54? I thought Andy was like 40 something. But that makes sense as to why he sometimes be a little cornier than I think. Um, but he wants to be with a woman. Andy, could you get, um, could Andy, you know, could you, in the, could you do that with a woman? When you see women, are you attracted to them sexually? <laughs> I love Giselle. If it doesn't have an X X60, I'll do it. Can you imagine Andy's DMs right now? Ooh, Lord. Andy, share them, please. Ooh, unseen footage. You know I love that. Where's the unseen footage? Is it gonna implicate Chris? The, none of this is bad. No, he hasn't admitted it. He said, if I... This is why I said, I understand the reasons why he wouldn't apologize because someone would, like a Giselle, would say he's admitting it. No, that's not an admission. Girl, call him a sneaky link ain't a different story. That's a different name. I'm apologizing to you. When? Right now? Right now, Candace? Yeah. Actually, she don't need you. Because a question has been posed You waited until it was appropriate to you to earn your check. Why you ain't talking about it then? You waited until the cameras were here. Yup. 
Sandy is like, can we not? Chris will be out here. We'll do it when the husbands come out. She always crying. He said, get your square. That's sexual assault. Candace is not wrong here. I'm with Andy because then you're saying you don't trust yourself or you don't trust him. What, what are we doing? We're saying two married people can't be in a room together because they can't be trusted. That's her MO. Damage every man's reputation because she's mad that her Okay, here's now what I will say Giselle is absolutely right because who has talked more about Michael Darby? Candace. So you can't say that she always tries to come for families and stuff because you've been coming hard for Ashley and her family every season. And you made that comment about Karen this season. And you talk about Mia and Gordon. You know, it's a lot. Y'all all do it. Okay, this is a good explanation from Giselle because we have all been wondering why she waited. But she is saying she waited because she wasn't gonna say anything. She only started to say something when Ashley brought up a, the thing about her friend, which as we know from Carlos King, all the ladies got together and started talking about what are we gonna talk about this season? Like what's the narrative we're pushing for? So when Ashley brought that up, I'm sure Giselle was like, oh, and then I can bring X, Y, and Z up as well. Isn't now it makes sense. Mm, always a husband issue, but only when the cameras start rolling. Miss Karen Huger, you have been very quiet. And you got the seat to Andy, okay. She, did, she already addressed that, Candace. She said she wasn't gonna say anything. Not dwindling uterus when you're trying to have kids. See, Candace, don't do this because you're trying to have kids. And we said before, you may be having difficulty because God says you are not ready for this because of how evil you were to people and their children in the past. And you have just got into his good graces. Come on, oh God. So why are you acting like this to a woman who is losing her uterus after having three children? And knowing Mia, after also having two, three children, is going through the same thing. You shouldn't be making negative comments about someone's health conditions. And especially not with an organ that you need to get a child and something that you've been working so hard towards. Let's not go there, Candace. I was with you the whole season to the good woman. All right, y'all, this wasn't as great as I wanted it to be. What happened? I was really excited for this. I thought people were gonna put folks on the line and all of this. The Mia thing was good. The Ashley thing was good. Um, I'm over this Chris and Giselle thing just as much as I was over it the se during the season when it took up, you know, 25 episodes of our life. So. I'm really okay with us moving on from this, but I know Chris has to come out. We gotta talk about this again. But yeah, this one didn't do it for me. My only question is, let me know how y'all felt about this. Also, the other question is, y'all signing up to be Andy's first and only? You have to have some paperwork, right? There have to be a dollar amount or you just gonna do it for the love of them, come on. All right, y'all, thank you so much for joining me for this Real Housewives of Potomac season finale part one. I am your girl Donna Rizzo, aka Rizzo of From Rizzo with Love. Please follow me on all things social media at From Rizzo with Love. And please, as always, remember that everything that I have said has been from Rizzo with Love. Bye, guys.